Okay, so the next case for live demonstration is a uh, surprise for our workshop today. In fact, this is an 83 years old lady uh, currently uh, admitted via the accident emergency for emergency uh, admission. She has a background of known metastatic CA corpus for palliative care and with known bilateral hydronephrosis currently on bilateral PCN drainage. Uh, this time she is emergently admitted for cholangitis with bilirubin, high fever and a jaundice with serum bilirubin up to 222 together with uh, ALP 1000 and ALT 160. Currently septic with white cell count of 21. Urgent CT was just done today showing dilated CBD up to 2.1 centimeters together with a bilateral IHD dilatation. There is also multiple enlarged portal lymph node. This is the plain CT abdomen today showing the bilateral dilated intrahepatic ducts. So today we plan for an urgent endoscopic guided bilirubin drainage. Uh, this case has uh, obstructive jaundice and a little bit has a uh, main pancreatic duct dilate also. So uh, my concern is uh, this patient is a very sick and ill patient. So I have uh, once the quick procedure. Uh, I tried to the US colorectal duodenostomy. Uh, first, uh, because uh, concern of the after metastatic for this patient has a possible chance of the some pressure related pancreas something. So I will show the some uh, delicate device for I using the US guy called the duodenal stomach. We're using the delicate device. But now, a little bit, we have uh, some uh, prepared for the some procedure now. Is, uh, do you have any comment or question for this procedure? Uh, no, um, but I think uh, you have also have the option of uh, ELCP and access to the papilla as well. Yeah, uh, basically this patient has no duodenal obstruction or there is no problem, I think. Uh, but the uh, problem is uh, this kind of patient, especially pancreatic cancer, is no problem of the some after procedure. But some patient with a metallic stent, metallic stent with the biliary and possible chance of the some pancreatitis or some even difficult for cannulation sometimes. Yeah, yeah now we are scope of the echoendoscope position is a duodenal bulb. I tried the called the duodenal stomy. Uh, for this patient has a CBD uh, is a much dilated around the is a Looks like uh, over then, uh, there's no caliper, right? Over there, and ten, uh, 10 millimeter, right? I Very dilate. And then we can perform the puncture at for procedure of collateral duodenal scope. I mean, the scope position is a very wrong scope position, very useful because the uh, US needle may be towards the hilum. And I use the 19 gauge needle. I prefer the it's a medical of needle because uh, this needle is very sharp and uh, out the diameter is uh, more bigger than other needle, uh, such kind of the cook or Boston. Then sometimes we are use the aeration because sometimes uh, due to the folding, maybe have a puncture of the duplication of the mucosa sometimes here. And then we have fixed the scope, then puncture here. We can use the sometimes Doppler. A patient has already have a uh, ascites and patient's uh, main pancreas duct a little bit dilate. Uh, we can try the cord duodenostomy first. Here is a needle here. Okay, injection. So I have a contrast inject. But patient has a little bit of ascites already have. Okay. Inject. Okay, there is some much dilatation of the viaduct and guide by please. So my assistant uh, came from the Korea, right? Yeah, very uh, nervous now. <laughs> no answer, right? Then needle and it's the guide wire towards hilum. 
My concern is the patient has a little bit of ascites, so I want to more quick procedure. Frodo? Okay. Now it's a little reposition, and uh, I use the position control the guide wire manipulation, as like this one. But sometimes the little is wire is uh, uh, towards the CBD, and is a uh, guide wire manipulation is very important towards the for the towards halom. Here, as like this one, because. Now is uh, assistance holding scope. It's very important for good pushability. Okay, so I use the one-step dedicated device one. But this wire is not so s satisfactory. Yeah, is the is better? Okay. And guide wire should be keeping the US of finding because uh, sometimes uh, this pushability is very important. I use the one step device with the fistula dilation. Yeah. This one is a uh, ultra tapered cell French of the catheter with uh, four French metastent tip with the uh, uncovered portion is 1.5 cm in the bioduct portion. You see? Mm, okay. yeah. Could you hold it? Could you hold it? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Now we are using one-step dedicated device. Okay, this one is uh, has a taper metal tip here. Yep, so I'll try. Okay. Okay, release. Okay. okay. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, flow is a uh, is very here. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. More, 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 more. Okay. This is a uh, anchoring flap here. Could you show the endoscopy view? Yeah. Uh, there is a bile is gusha, right? Okay. Uh, around my our study is a procedure around the cortical about about the five minutes for procedure. Okay. That's uh, any that's question? That's wonderful. Uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll come up.